everybody it's mr simons um the video that i pushed out to you guys on google classroom which teaches you how to find the volume of a cylinder is really good the only issue with it though is it only shows examples where you have a radius and i want to show you an example where you are given diameter because quite realistically in the real world when you're doing this you're given diameter a lot more than you get, are given the radius. So um, the big thing to remember here is what we know about diameter and radius is we know that the diameter, all right, see if I can get this to work here. The diameter is equal to two times the radius. So the radius is just the part that goes from the center to the outside of the circle right so right there so from the center moving to the outside of the circle if you follow my cursor the diameter is the point that goes from one side of the circle to the other side of the circle that goes through the center so it's basically it's two radii right next to each other so you got one radii here and then you got another radii here so if it's two radii next to each other that means two radii equals one diameter so when they give you the diameter and you want to figure out what the radius is, all you got to do is just take the diameter and divide it by 2, and then that gives you the radius. So in this case, if it's 7, you would just go 7 divided by 2, and that equals 3.5. Right, I'm going to save and chase right there. And then we have everything we need to do the problem. So what we'll do then is we'll just plug away into our equation here. So we'll go volume equals and then pi times our radius is 3.5. And we're going to raise that to the second power. All right. And then we're going to multiply that by our height, which is 10. Okay. And so what that will look like then is let's plug in our numbers. So we have 3.14 for pi. And then you're going to multiply by 3.5 twice because that's what 3.5 squared means. And then you multiply that by 10. And I will move this over so it stays on the screen. And then when you put in all of your calculations pardon me here while I close the door so we don't hear everyone in my family yelling um, you put in your calculations we'll go 3.14 I'm doing this on my calculator off to the side times 3.5 times 3.5 times 10 I am showing 384.65 so 384.65 and then we would round that to the nearest tenth, which would be 384.7. Okay, let's try one more real quick, as long as you're here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up on the screen, and I want you guys to use the formula and see if you can figure it out before I walk you through it. So let's put the formula up here for you, so you have it. So, and then remember that our diameter is equal to two of our radius. Okay, so if you want to figure out your radius, you're going to divide your diameter by two. So why don't you try that now? Pause the video and then come on back when you're done. All right, hopefully you tried this. So let's plug this in and see what we have here. So we're going to do our 3.14 for pi, our radius. Well, because the diameter is 12, half of 12 is 6, so our radius is 6. So 6 to the power of 2, and then times our height, which is 19. So now it's just a matter of plugging everything in to, uh, to the calculator. So you would have 3.14 times 6 times 6 times 19 and I got 2147.8 it's actually 0.76 and then you round it so that it's 0.8 so that's how you find uh, volume when they're giving you diameter and uh, 
I think there should be some examples of both on your homework for you to work on um, because it's pretty common to have either one there. So hopefully that helped. Any questions, reach out to me. Thanks. Bye.